So uh, I thought I'd show you this, um, this begonia. This is a begonia grandis. It's a cultivar known as Simsia. Um, it's, it's, um, it's got a white flower and uh, it's as opposed to the type species which has a kind of a, a pale pale lilac purple flower and it's um it's slightly larger than the cultivar alba but it has this gorgeous purple red venation on the undersides of its leaves gorgeous when they get larger like this you know you can see they get really really beautiful and um it's quite a tall tall growing begonia it's what um, begonia freaks call a cane begonia so it'll grow up to about a meter high and um and it's very hardy you know it's it goes down to about minus five five degrees centigrade which is is pretty tough certainly survive you know in the south of the uk certainly in inner london and you know in comparable uh, other countries pacific northwest new zealand south africa keep it uh, keep it moist during the growing season and um, these flowers haven't opened up very much um, they're just starting to open up now it's very very late this year it's been so hot this year it's crazy but keep it moist in the in the growing season and then really completely dry during the uh, during the during the winter um, so herbaceous perennial die down and then spring up again in the um, in the in the spring and uh, yeah this is a lot of people call these um, Begonia grandis subspecies Evansiana and um, it's named after a guy called Thomas Evans. It's um, taxonomically it's it's correct now it's been changed to just Begonia grandis but most people kind of still put in that Evansiana. But Thomas Evans was a really really interesting character and uh, he, he worked for the East India Company. He was in the Treasury Department um, on the bullion desk. And there's a, a lot of interesting stories about how, you know, uh, it was never quite substantiated. I mean, there was a tribunal, but, you know, I think he was exonerated, but uh, with suspicion. But, uh, yeah, he would, um, it was you know, suggested that he would occasionally pocket the odd bit of silver. He certainly grew quite wealthy. And... <laughs> <laughs> he was never actually a plant hunter as such, you know, but he would, um, so he would, you know, he was, as I say, on the desk, but he would commission his friends and colleagues in the company to, um, to collect for him, particularly in, in Guangdong and uh, China. And, uh, um, and this is one of the, the species that he, he was the first to introduce us into the country. Um, sent one, one plant up to Kew. And um, he would grow these in uh, Stepney, in the days when Stepney up in East London was still you know, agricultural you know, farmland. And he had a, a glass house up there, what they used to call a stove house, with a, a wood-burning, coal-burning stove to keep things warm. And he was really you know, one of the first exotic gardeners in, in the country, and, and you know, for that matter, in the world. Um, and he, he became quite well known, you know, amongst sort of the landed gentry, and they would, you know, make these pilgrimages up to his glass house, you know, to to find out what uh, what Thomas Evans had, you know, growing up there in his in his <laughs> in his glass house in his in his Stepney field, and um, he he introduced quite a lot of quite interesting plants to the UK. He um, he introduced Latilla striata, um, famous terrestrial hardy orchid from China. Uh, he introduced Musa cochinia, um, banana, and um, yeah, he, you know, and, and quite a few other plants. Um, those, those are certainly the, the three. Oh, and Iris japonica, um, which uh, is a very interesting iris, Chinese iris actually, but it has the japonica epithet because it was cultivated. Uh, extensively in Japan um, on the roofs. It was, used to be grown on the roofs of the huts in Japan. So yeah, Tom Evans, very interesting character, early exotic gardener. Um, 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, shady character, and um, certainly obsessed with um, with interesting plants. God bless him. So um, yeah, that's it. So this is, um, as I say, this is the cultivar known as uh, um, Simsii. Eh? Can't really see it here, but it has a slightly larger flower than the Alba cultivar and um, rather gorgeous and um, definitely one, one that every exotic gardener should uh, should have somewhere so yeah that's it begonia grandis simsii